I understand you've been going through an ongoing battle. Wondering where all of the mess is coming from. Trying to figure out where this, where's this battle coming from? Why are you constantly having to fight spiritually? Even physically, like trying to stand up for yourself. Like what is going on? Whoever I'm picking up on is dealing, you're, you're dealing with someone and some things around you that are just not in alignment with you. You've been in an area where this is, whether this is at your job or at your home, wherever it is in the community, where you're being pushed into a new direction. This is why you've been feeling that ongoing push and battle in your life. You're not in the right place at the right time. Many of you guys have stayed somewhere where maybe you didn't have the resources to leave. Whether this is you leaving the job, leaving the uh, changing homes, changing residence, God is saying that He's going to provide for you. You've been dealing with so much. You've had so much stress in your mind to where you can't even sleep at night. Many of you guys are not even sleeping good at night. If you're sleeping good at night, praise God. But if you're not, this message is definitely for you. It's almost as if you have this ongoing stress that keeps on building up as though something or someone is doing something. And you may, it's like you want to tell somebody about it, but you know they wouldn't quite understand. They see that you're stressed. They see that you're going through this battle, but they're not saying it. But you really want to say it like, I know somebody doing something. I can feel it in the pit of my stomach. When you get that feeling and that discernment that you know something is wrong and something ain't right, understand that God is trying to tell you something, child. And in this situation, you're definitely in the wrong place. You're not where you need you need to be right now. There's so much going on to where you know that the the normal chosen one would not be going through this. It's like, where is this coming from? Why all these attacks? Do you know that many of you guys deal with people on a day-to-day -day basis who are practicing witchcraft? Without you even knowing it, they're doing it in the comforts of their own home. Behind closed doors, you're wondering why you're still going through what you're going through. Why you're faced with all of these difficulties and everybody else around you is not. They're not going through what you're going through. They don't even understand. A lot of them have not even wanted to associate with you. And it's sad, but the thing about it is, is that you're dealing with someone who is using these forms of witchcraft around you without you even knowing it. And it's just, it's like God just really wants to show you that, okay, yeah, witchcraft is real, but he wants you to know that you're more powerful. When you speak to these things and tell them to go, they got to go. When you start to feel that energy coming upon you, you better say something. You got to speak it up, baby. Speak, your, speak yourself out of this. This is why you have the power of the tongue. You can either curse yourself with the tongue or you could either, either bless yourself with your tongue. Either way, you need to stand up and speak. Speak now or forever hold your peace. And it ain't going to be peaceful because the way that God has set you up He's made you and built you to be a soldier. I mean, one of them frontline soldiers like David. So where you're needed, you're needed to stand up and you're going to save so many people around you. Think about it. Remember David slung, you know, he had to go slay that giant. See, you slaying so many giants. You're meant to slay so many giants around you. You're wondering why are people mishandling you? Why are they treating you in such a matter, manner to where they feel like they can just do anything to you? It's meant for you to stand up and be the strong one. Even though you might not be more seasoned than those around you. Let's talk about it. You might not be as seasoned as everybody around you. The people around you may know God. They've been praying to God. They've been preaching. They've been singing. They've been doing whatever for years, for years. But you may not have been doing it for too long. But God is trying to show you 
that all it's going to take with you is just to open your mouth and say something. Say something. Speak to that giant. Speak to that mountain and it has to move. Because I don't want you living in a difficult situation all your life, fighting battle after battle. We know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities in higher places. But when it comes to the spiritual things, when you speak and you speak in Jesus' name, that name holds power. That name holds power. And see, demons tremble at that name. They get, afra- they get afraid. They think that when you speak the name of Jesus, that you actually got a weapon. When you speak that name, they get offended. But you got to know that it is something different about you. Even though you might not be as seasoned as those around you, you have the power in you. And I speak so much about power because I'm telling you, why do you think you've been going through this for so long? They know you hold weight. You hold weight in the spiritual and the natural realm. You hold weight that they can't hold. And it's not to lessen what they're doing. It's just that God wants you to know that the power that he gave you is bigger. It's a bigger assignment. It's bigger than you, it's bigger than them, it's bigger than whoever's using witchcraft to do all of this. And the reason I speak about witchcraft a lot, and uh, you know, these negative things that people do, because this is what a lot of people these days have turned to in the media to get you to watch them in the you know music industry so you can listen to it. Baby, it's all over. It's almost as if they have caught, they want you to think that that is the God that you serve, that you're supposed to be doing that. But we know that that ain't it. We know that the God we serve is something vicious. He's something powerful. It's something about him in you. And when you're allowing him to use you no matter what, he's going to come through for you. And no witchcraft, hoodoo, voodoo, whatever black magic, whatever. It's not going to hold you. None of that can hold you down. I don't care what happened in the midst of you not knowing your power. When you stand in your power, those things will shift. Yeah, you may have lost your mind at once. You may have lost people. You may have felt depression, sadness, fearful, trembling, just not knowing what to do in life. It may have been that way for you. But you got to understand that when you stand in the power that the Lord has for you, all of that is going to shift. All that changes everything. You changing the game, baby. You changing the game. See, some of you have forgotten who you are and whose you are. You've forgotten the power that you've had before. You've forgotten the things that you used to do. Remember you used to pray all the time? Used to be in your secret closet, fasting and praying. I mean, praying in the spirit, baby. The things you did. Blessing people. Praying for them. Reaching out. See, don't let what happened to you discourage you and change you from being who you were before. All of that was sent to make you stronger. There's a new version of you in town. There's a new version of you that people have not seen. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard the power and the things that you're going to do in this life. And when you do, baby, they're going to say, who's the new man in town? Who's the new woman in town? Who is that? They're going to be wondering, who are you? They want to know. As you continue to fight this battle, you won't have to do it the way you've been doing it. When you felt like you couldn't do it. You're going to know that once you start to pray, read, fast, sing, praise, whatever you do, you're going to start to see that it is not as hard as it seemed before because there's a new version of you in town. There's a new version of you that people have not seen. And they're going to be so shocked that when you step out and when you begin to walk in that power and confidence of the Lord, they're going to say, wow, it's something different about you. What, what is it? What did you do? How did you get this to happen to you? How did you get so confident all of a sudden? You know they're going to want to know. 
Because that's where all your power lies in Jesus, in God. The power that you preserve, they you know they bad about it. A lot of them are mad about it, but it ain't got, it don't matter. That's why I'm telling you when they were using these manipulative tactics against you, they thought they were going to hold you down forever. And like I said on yesterday, you just a seed waiting waiting to grow. They tried to bury you, honey. But you they they throw dirt on your name. They try to What's that what's the uh video? They try to straddleize you. <laughs> Lying on your name. <laughs> but God says they did all that for nothing. And all of that was in vain. Cause the way he about to bring you out of there, they ain't gonna know what to do. It's so much it's so much that's about to happen in your life, and I want you to get excited about it. Because there's about to be, God is putting you on a different mission where you're going to be in different countries, different cities, sharing who you are and your testimony, sharing the things about how you came up out of stuff, how people didn't support you, but God did, how people didn't be there for you. They, they wasn't there to comfort you, but God did. Who gave you the peace and joy in your life? God did. Type in the comments, God did. God did. Yes, he did and did. And you're going to be so amazed. And I just want you to know that I love you. And I'm so thankful that you are stepping up and finding out who you are in this life. Because most of these people wanted you gone out of here. Finito. Done. They wanted that for your life. But it ain't over un unless God says it's over. It ain't over until he says it's through. And you ain't nil by through. So your battles shall be fought with the power of the Most High who lives in you. And he's doing a good thing. He's doing a new thing in your life. There's a new version of you popping out. Baby, you better pop out. I know we what they say, we in the streets. It's the summer. We, in, we outside. You better step out because, baby, we outside with the Most High God. That power, they going to know. They going to know not to mess with you. They're going to know not to try to do all that to you again. Because they're going to see that every time that they tried you, you became more powerful. You skipped levels at this point. And like they always say, new levels, new devils. But baby, hmm, they ain't got nothing on the power of God in you. So get ready to step out and know that everything that you practiced, you studied, you prayed for, the things that you're going, you know, the things that you've done, it's all paying off. Because he's going to reward you in due season. And that season is now. It's already, getting, it's already started. It's already started. So get ready. I love you guys, and I pray that you have an amazing rest of your day. Peace and blessings. Mwah.